In this video, we're looking at the function e to the x and its derivative. Okay. Well, first thing you need to know is that e to the x is what is known as an exponential function. And all exponential functions uh, do a few certain things. Okay. Uh, as if, with regards to their graphs, uh, here's one, there's uh, value two, there's value three. Now, E, again, if you remember from your studies, E is the Euler number, or the natural base E, and it's approximately equal to 2.71828. Now, the exponential function e to the x means that as a function e to the x, what we have is a function that looks very similar to this. Okay. e to the x function, well, it passes through zero, one, and one e. The function is also always increasing. And finally, it's always concave up. Okay, so we're always increasing. Um, it passes through the two points 0, 1, and 1, e on its increasing pattern. Um, and something else to note is that it has a horizontal asymptote at where y is equal to zero. Okay, so we're always it's always going to be a positive number. Okay? There's this is where f of x, this is the graph f of x is equal to e to the x. Okay? So that's the basic thing about the exponential function, some basic things here. Okay? E to the x is also a one-to-one -one function, and we'll be studying its inverse more in just a little bit. But when we're looking at the derivative, the derivative with respect to x of the function e to the x is, and this is important, it's really, really hard to remember sometimes, but it's simply e to the x. Okay? The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Um, and that's, this is really the most important thing to remember right now. The derivative of e to the x is simply e to the x. Okay? Uh, the way we find derivatives of exponential functions, whether it's e to the x or 2 to the x or, or whatnot, uh, in general format, d to the x, or the derivative with respect to x of some b to the x exponential function, is going to be equal to m times b to the x. And now this m value, m is equal to the limit um, as x approaches 0 of whatever that b to the x minus 1 is, all divided by x as x approaches 0. Okay? Um, that's one way of looking at it, another way that they state in our book is that m is equal to um, the derivative with respect to x of b to the x at zero. Okay? So what we're looking at is here our, our slope at zero. That's the, that's the value that we take times uh, our value e to the x. The function e to the x at zero has a slope of one at e to the x. Or at, at zero, we have a slope of one. So really this is one times e to the x. Okay? But that's that's the big part. That's what you really need to remember. That's what you should kind of force into your brain for right now. It'll become more of an automatic response in a bit. We're gonna look at how to find derivatives based off of this um, and functions that contain e to the x um, 